Hello, I'm Susan, Fitness from the Pro. Today, I'm going to introduce to you the kettlebell swing, which is a great exercise to incorporate into your program. This one little exercise using two hands will give you power in your golf swing. It will add speed and distance to the golf ball. It'll give you core conditioning. It'll give you cardio conditioning with just one exercise. And this is the foundational exercise if you're going to incorporate kettlebells into any routine that you have. Now, I'm going to start off with a lighter kettlebell here just to show you how it is not a shoulder exercise. It, the power all comes from the hips and it's the pushing of the hips which will raise the kettlebell up. It is not a shoulder exercise, kids. A lot of people think that it is a shoulder exercise. Don't get me wrong. There are some shoulder exercises you can do with the kettlebell, but not this one. This is your foundational exercise with the kettlebell. So we're gonna start off here. I've got a 20 pound kettlebell here and yeah, I guess I can lift it with both hands. And I'm showing you this because you'll see when I move up in weight, how it is not a shoulder exercise. So here we go, we're gonna start off. <clears throat> my arms are fully extended and my back is flat. My eyes are in alignment with that kettlebell. I'm sitting back into my heels. Now be mindful, this is not a squat, okay? It's not a squat. I'm pulling my belly button into the spine. My back is flat. I'm reaching through the crown of my head. Inhaling here, keeping those abdominals engaged, and I'm bringing it back and pushing up and squeezing the butt cheeks. And my hips is what's pushing that kettlebell up. I'm barely holding on here, barely holding on, okay? And this is 20 pounds. Abs are in. My hips push forward. You'll feel this the next day, let me tell you. It'll work your hamstrings, your butt, your core, your heart, not the shoulders. So, putting that off to the side. Now I'm gonna get a heavier kettlebell just to illustrate to you that it is not a shoulder exercise. It all comes from the hips and the pushing of the hips, the momentum of the hips flexibility of the hips. Here it is, 30 pounds, both hands holding on to it. Maybe I can get it up a little bit, but not really, because I'm not strong enough. But with my hips, you bet I can get it up there. Once again, proper positioning, sitting back into those heels. My eyes in alignment with that bar, the top of the, the kettlebell. My arms are straight, back is flat. I'm sitting back into those heels. Once again, it's not a squat. Belly button pulled into the spine. Inhale here, exhale. Push those hips forward. Squeeze that butt cheek. And look how high I can get that kettlebell. You don't need to bring it all the way up. Just shoulder height. And it's my hips that are pushing the kettlebell up. It's not my arms. I can't do it. You saw I couldn't do it. That is your kettlebell swing. I want to thank you for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe to LWCA Fitness on YouTube. Just click on that little circle on the bottom of your screen here. Like the video, share the video, feel free to comment. And thanks again for joining me. I just want to tell you I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time, okay?